Hi, I'm Pastor Paul from Redeemer International, and I have with me Pastor Kuhn and Cherry, and they're going to tell you a little bit of what's going on in Burma right now. Hi, uh, my name is Pastor Pedro. I just want to summarize a little bit about Burma today. Some of you may already know about the recent situation in Burma. The country of Burma has been under strict military rule for the many years. However, in this recent year, the country was able to establish a democratic government that represents the people. On 8 of November 2020, when people of Burma voted for their government, the National Leader of Democracy Party, who by the majority of the vote, this greatly angered the military and their general. On 1st of February 2021, the military unlawfully seized control of the country and arrested the president, state councilor Aung San Suu Kyi, and many leaders who are in favor of democracy. Seeing that military has taken control and power, millions of people from Burma began to peaceful protests in many ways. However, the peaceful protesters are facing violence, arrests, and even dead by the military. The people of Burma are constantly living in fear because the military continue to arrest and kill people at their own will. So we would like to request all country to support and stand with those in Myanmar, who is called Burma, who are participating in peaceful protests and civil disobedience movement and to stop the injustice of the military. We ask for the immediate release of the leaders in Burma who are arrested by the military. Thank you very much. Um, I kindly ask that all of the Redeemer friends and family to stand with us and with the people from Burma at this time. We have over 5,000 people from Burma who live in this area, resettled in this area um, in a different uh, places from Burma. So we ask that you stand and support our friends, families and people, all of ethnic cities from Burma who are fighting for their basic human rights and democracy. Right now, uh, the country of Burma is fighting against the forces of military power and has put them in the darkness and great suffering. So we believe that our God is with us and we believe that our Lord will be doing mighty things in Burma. We also believe that there will be many spiritual revivals take place in Burma. So we want to let everyone know in Burma that we stand with you and we pray for you always. Thank you. So we want to stand with the people of Burma and the, our congregation and ask you to pray. And we'll also, I'm also asking you to write or email your political representatives, congressmen, senators, uh, whoever you can get a hold of. And we'll provide you some simple information how to do that. Thank you and please keep them in prayer.